unless something drastically changed, hydrogen is not going to happen. Stop trying to make hydrogen happen. It's not going to happen. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrenches in my top drawer of my snap one box. Hey, what's up, guys? This is MJ100K, and today we got to talk about Shell immediately closing down all hydrogen stations for passenger cars in the state of California. What is going on with these hydrogen stations? Let's check out this article. Shell decided to permanently close all of its hydrogen refueling stations for passenger cars in California. The oil giant claims that the cause of the move is supply complications. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. It sounded like the technology had everything to succeed in a race with electric cars, which had to spend hours plugged in to add miles to their range. But over the years, battery packs grew larger and fast charging technology developed while the fuel cell technology was incapable of keeping up. Liquefying hydrogen, storing it, and supplying it are expensive procedures that discouraged car makers from further developing the technology, as well as low demand and lack of proper infrastructure for refueling. Seven hydrogen refueling stations for passenger cars were operating in California. By closing them down, Shell exited the market for light-duty hydrogen vehicles in the U.S., remaining with the three H2 filling stations for heavy-duty vehicles in the state. All right, so it looks like they still have three heavy-duty filling stations, but they closed down all the stations for light-duty hydrogen vehicles. How many hydrogen vehicles are there? Let's see. Who makes these things? This means that the owners of the Toyota Morai, the Hyundai Next, the Honda Clarity fuel cell owners are going to have to travel more to refill their cars. Okay, so for hydrogen-powered vehicles, there are only 3,143 registered in 2023, and that's less than 1% of the electric car market registered in that same period. So that's just 1% of electric cars. So they're probably 0.001 for all cars. The Toyota Mirai starts at about 50,000 and the Hyundai Nexo fuel cell starts at $60,000. Wow. According to the Alternative Fuels Data Center, there were 59 retail stations available nationwide, mostly concentrated in California. That is not a lot of places to fill these things up. I got to be honest, people, I am not a fan of hydrogen cars at all. I do like electric cars. I like plug-in hybrids even more, and I still like gasoline power cars. But hydrogen, I don't get it. Why do people like hydrogen vehicles? What is the big deal? I mean, there is nowhere to fill up these vehicles. These stations take millions of dollars to make one of them. And now you have to be responsible for making all these stations everywhere. Now, I know somebody in my comments last time, they were all in love with hydrogen cars. It seems like a good idea, but there's no infrastructure. I mean, where are you going to fill it up at? Hydrogen cars would be good if you, like, you could just maybe put water in them. <laughs> like, it didn't even work. But you can't, you know? Water comes out of them, apparently, but <laughs> you can't just put water in there. So I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I know they were testing. They were testing one of those at a job I worked at. I mean, another engineer was working on testing one of those things. Uh, I mean, it works. They have the technology. This was back in 2016. This is eight years ago. They got a whole another generation of that car. The cars are fine. I mean, they work just fine. I mean, one of them even got in an accident. It didn't explode or anything, you know. So they're, I believe they're safe. It wasn't the car's fault for the accident. Somebody had uh, ran a light and hit one of our drivers. But, but yeah, I mean, they could take an accident. So I'm not afraid of them uh, being a safe. But yeah, like, <laughs> where are you going to fill that thing up, man? I don't get it. And you know, Toyota invests a lot of money in those, Honda. And like, I know they have access to information that I don't have access to, the people that are making these decisions. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know all the information, but just from the outside looking in, it seems like a complete and total waste of money for OEMs to build these hydrogen cars. Like they built it like, you know, 
They already know they work. They're not going to make them much better by keep working on them. They're only going to get but so much better. You just keep putting millions and millions of dollars into this. I don't get it. If I was the CEO of GM and they were putting one dime into hydrogen, I would be. I would say I want my money back. That's enough. Waste enough time and money with this hydrogen. I don't get it. If you get it, put it in the comments. Somebody tell me why. What is the big deal with hydrogen? This is ridiculous. You got these giant tanks in there, and they take up room in the trunk, and they take up room in the center. Oh, no, forget that, man. They're, they're ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Or maybe if 10 years from now, they figure out how to make this hydrogen in your house, or you they could easily make it at a gas station, and it's just hydrogen everywhere. Well, then, you know, we can pull the hydrogen cars out and start using them. But until then, I'm... Um, Nobody's going to build an infrastructure for that unless the government puts billions of dollars into making hydrogen stations all over the place. Other than that, it ain't going to happen unless something drastically changed. Hydrogen is not going to happen. Stop trying to make hydrogen happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. There's They closed seven and there was only 59. So now there's only 52 places to fill these cars up. And most of them are in California. So good luck with that. As far as passenger cars go, maybe uh, giant trucks could use hydrogen, you know, when they, they have their own fill up stations and maybe it makes sense to them. But as far as passenger cars, it ain't going to happen. Sorry. Sorry about that. Focus on gasoline cars, electric vehicles and plug in hybrid vehicles. So tell me, what do y'all think about this craziness? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and have a good one.